welcome back to Book Talk with Grace. Today I'm going to be reviewing a book called The World to Us Children by David Williams, like I said I would do last week. David Williams is one of my best time authors in all the world. He is very inspirational to me. His, he has millions of books, loads of books. You can go read on the Kindle or go to the library and it's, it's, I, I love David Williams as well because he's very inspirational, he, his books are funny and right now I'm writing a book and he's very, he's boosting me right now because I'm reading a, a book from David Williams as well and I just love him so you guys should go and check him out, a very, very good books he has. Um, and. The World Was Children is a book that has different kinds of stories in them. Um, for example, uh, so there is Dribbling Drew, Bartha Bub the Bubbler, Nigel, Nigel Nips Boy, Miss Petulia, Pet Petulia Motion, Peter Picker, Grubby Gertrude, Brian Wong, Wong, who was never wrong, Wendy Mindy, Ernest Ernest, and Sophia Sofa. And right now I'm going to read a page of what, uh, more about dribbling Drew, who always dribbles. Once upon a time, there was a boy named Drew. He dribbled a lot. It wasn't just normal, everyday dribbling. Oh no, this was dribbling on a industrial scale. Here, here is the boy who could dribble litre upon litre a day. Now you may be wondering why dribbling Drew dribbled so much. Well, it was because he was an incredibly lazy individual. If he could, he could sleep 24 hours a day, seven days a week and 365 days a year. And Drew, as, and as Drew snoozed, he drooled. Zzz, plop, zzz, plop. He went the drill as it as it landed on the floor. On the on school school mornings, the boy would have been dragged out of bed by his feet if he had his way. Drew would have been wheeled to school every morning in his bed, and as soon as he arrived in school, he would go straight back to sleep. Zzz, plop, zzz, plop. Drew liked nothing more than having a nice long snooze during lessons. If he'd known, um, he had been known to take sleep sleeping bags to school, and that way he could doze through every single subject. So, as it said in the first page, dribbling Drew loved to dribble. He was a very lazy individual, and he is one of the world's worst children. And I really loved the the book because I really love the book because it had a very it has a very uh, like funny li um storyline and I and I love the the way he described uh what the people are about like dribbling drew and uh, and other people and I think the best one I liked um, about the story was that it, it tells us a lesson every time it finishes and it goes to a different one and and it's it, the the stories are nice and short they're nice and snappy they go straight to the point after describing them and I love the world as children I love the world as children one two and three and uh, I'm about to read the world as teachers as well so um get ready for those videos coming out very soon um the best story in the book i liked was miss petulia motion i think and she basically was dancing everywhere uh, she she couldn't stop she um moving she couldn't stop dancing and it was in her name. She had to dance. Her mum tried to persuade us to stop moving, but she couldn't sit, sit in a seat for one second. When she was called to the head teacher, because they were going on a very, very important trip and they couldn't mess up, she was called to the office because obviously the head teacher knows that she, should, she shouldn't move. But she, the, te the teacher said, sit down. 
she sat down but started jumping up and down in her chair she couldn't move she couldn't she couldn't uh, stop moving and that's the thing about her and and uh, i really liked that um, story as well i also liked the one called sophia sofa and uh she is she was basically stuck in a sofa she was merged into the sofa because she she sat on it for a very long time she sat in it for so long she and she watched tv she was just sitting on the sofa watching tv and after a while she got stuck inside the sofa for some for some reason and then she got stuck in a tv like merged into a tv as well and that and at the end it was a very very bad consequence for sophia so and and sometimes it has lessons in it like don't sit on the sofa so, for so long don't watch tv for so long and i really like that one as well you guys should go check out the world's worst children it is amazing it's an amazing book i loved it i really loved it i'll give it a five star definitely and this is the end of my review next week i'm going to be reviewing a book called the world's worst children 2 and it's even worse so check out remember to stay tuned check out that video like share and subscribe for more videos i'll see you guys next time bye stay safe